Yeah, I don't really like standing still that much. Ever since I was a kid, I haven't really been able to stand still. I've always been kind of fidgety. Um, the problem is a standstill is a really important shot to have in disc golf. So up until now, whenever I've had to throw a standstill, I've usually thrown kind of like a slow shuffle step. Or when I did throw from a standstill, results were not, uh, not great. But I've decided for this video, I'm gonna learn how to throw from a standstill. I've really been working on my brace and I think removing some of the other variables can really let me focus on what's happening during that last step so I can get a lot of power. So if you're thinking about doing the same thing, stay tuned. You looking at me, I'm looking at you, and I'm waiting for the 60% of people that aren't subscribed that are watching this video to hurry up and subscribe so I can get back to making it. Thank you. I forgot I like to hold a disc in my hand, otherwise I feel awkward. Now, it's an important distinction. I'm not going back to a standstill. That's something that I've seen a few people try to do, and basically what they're saying is, I don't like where my form is, so I'm just going to forget everything, go back to a standstill, and relearn from that point forward. Um, that's not really how muscle memory works. That'd be like, I'm gonna forget how to walk and learn how to do it on my hands. But then you stand up and you still know how to walk. So once you've developed these habits, they're kind of your habits and you have to work through them rather than just trying to forget them. So I, I'm not going back to a standstill. I'm using it more like a drill as a way to learn how to do that properly to be able to apply it to the rest of my throw. I'm not forgetting the rest of my throw and then just doing a standstill. So a bit pedantic, but I thought it was an important point. So the purpose of a standstill throw is to replicate the last step of your full throw, but just only that part. So normally a full throw is right foot, left foot, and then right foot. What we're doing is we're just using this last step. So should kind of start with your weight over your back foot, shift forward. It's basically just one segment of the full throw. So ideally it should look more or less the same. Let's, uh, let's find out. I have not warmed up at all, so this might hurt your eyes and also me. Oh, I actually went okay. I've worked on it a little bit, but at the point that I started working on it, this is what my standstill looked like. So two things from that standstill that I knew were problems that I should work on and that I have been working on is my, the width of my stance and the amount of reach back. So um, my stance was way too wide. Uh, generally, I want that to be about as wide as it would be for a normal throw, and I wanna be able to turn my hips. Because if your feet are any farther apart than that, it's really hard to rotate your hips. But if they're, if they're in a good stance, then it's a lot easier, and then you can get more power there. And the other thing was reaching back too far. I knew that this was something that I was doing wrong, but it helped me to hit lines if I just reached way far back, which isn't at all necessary. You don't need to turn your shoulders this far away, just a little bit back here, that's still a reach back. Even if you just move the disc like there, that's a reach back. Even if the disc stays still and you move forward, that's a reach back, except I'm trying to call them back swings now, but um, yeah, anyways, I don't, need, I don't need to have that big of a back swing. I don't need to turn that far away. So what I have been working on is taking a little bit of a narrower stance and just having just a nice small backswing that should feel a lot more natural and a lot closer to my normal throw. So this is what that looks like. That was bad. I'll try again. A little better, I'm still pulling it right. Yeah, it's not good yet though. Okay. Okay, so those, those changes feel fairly natural to me right now um, because I've been working on them for a little bit ahead of time. So um, if I were actually changing those in the moment, um, I would take time and do like a few reps and try to get them to feel natural individually. So if you're starting from where I was, um, then that's what I would advise. But where I am now is from a relatively normal looking place, but it's not very effective. I'm not throwing it very far. I'm not very accurate. Let's pick the next thing to work on. So the next thing I'm gonna work on is what I talked about in the how to use your hips video, uh, and it's using your hips to drive your rotation because that's kind of the purpose of, of why I'm even throwing from a standstill is to get that power from my lower body, from my brace, from my back foot into the throw. Weight shift is important, but I'm going to try to focus on pushing back with my front leg and then 
also pushing forward with my back leg and using that momentum forward to drive the rotation in my hips. And we'll see if I can get that to feel at least somewhat natural. Okay, so we're going four. Mm, that felt bad. Maybe that was right? I'm trying to get the pushing back with this hip and forward with that one. It's tricky, let's try a throw. Oh my goodness, that felt so much more natural. Reasonably successful. Let's throw a few more. Yeah, boy, that makes everything feel better. Let's look at it. So that at least felt better. It felt more like my rotation was driving my arm along that line rather than pulling it. Getting more rotation helped it at least feel better, but I, I, looking at the footage, I'm still not doing what I want to. I'm kind of shifting too far over my front foot and my leg is still pretty bent. I wanna have that leg pushing so it's straightening more. Um, so I guess I'll just keep working on it. I'm trying to go, I think. Maybe? Let's try that. Oh, that was bad. That felt really weird. So that's not it, got it, taking notes. I felt better. Let's see if that's doing any better. Yeah, my leg is a little bit straighter there. Still reaching back a little bit far. And I'm kind of leaning forward. I don't know that I shouldn't be doing that. Hmm. It's getting better, but I'm still not happy. Am I leaning forward? Should I be? Is that what I need to be doing? Ooh, that felt better. I was delaying that reach back a little bit. Delaying my arm going backwards. Let's see if that works. I'm pretty sure I hit the microphone with that one, sorry. Probably didn't sound good. <laughs> Oh, that was bad. <laughs> it's hard because like I'm not really focusing on what my my arm is doing, but also that's where I see the result. Let's just do some without throwing. I should be pushing off my back leg, not leaning forward. Ooh. That was different. Is that right? It's real different. Hmm. Still don't know if it was right. That felt better. I think that actually is good though. I don't know, I got one more before I gotta go pick them up. All right, one bag worth, let's see what the results are. It's a lot more work fixing my own form than uh, just telling other people how to do it. I gotta throw all these there again. I'll probably go get them again if I want them. Okay, mic battery is getting low. I can go get more, but I'm gonna keep doing some practice throws. What I'm focusing on is not, it looks like I'm getting all the way over my front foot before I'm trying to push back. And that's like pushing there is just pushing up. So I'm gonna try and keep my weight a little bit farther back. Maybe not. Yeah, so that pushing with my leg actually drives the rotation rather than just up and down, hopefully. So I'm trying to do... Is that better? Maybe? Let's try it. Hmm. 
I didn't feel any more powerful, but I don't know if my lower body did the right thing. Is that right? Or are my feet too close together? Okay, a little farther apart. Pretty good result. That felt good. I don't I still don't know if I'm doing it right though. I'm gonna air bounce those nose up, but that felt good. That was really good. That's down there, that's maybe over 300 feet. I wanna see if I can throw in a little more power. See what I can do. This is my flippiest one, so it should go far. Ah, it wasn't flippy when I threw it from a standstill. That's pretty far down there. That's not bad for a standstill for me. It felt effortless too. See about this one. Oh, that was bad. That was way too much arm. No, I felt my leg. I could tell that I was spinning on it while it was like squishing like that. Just trying to push back. Okay, not gonna try and throw this one far. Just gonna push with my hips. And that one went probably just as far as the others. Perfect. <laughs> Mm. That was bad. It's weird because this back foot, I'm pushing with my toe. Like I can feel the pressure coming off of my toe. But on my front foot, it's almost like I'm pushing with my heel or with my like thigh because I'm straightening my leg. And so that's a lot, a lot harder to be like, to finesse, right? Because my toe, I can be more delicate with, but my whole leg is a lot harder, but I'm not trying to do that motion. I'm trying to do that motion. Okay. So let's recap this whole field work session. The original comparison of my standstill to my full throw was probably more similar than I'd like to admit, so I guess it's good I'm working on it. I can definitely see some progression as I go along. I was really trying to get my front hip to go backwards like in the hip slide drill, but I did a little more research and the backwards slide comes from the hip turning, not from physically moving backwards. So I was doing better than I thought there. One thing I thought was interesting was this Raider I threw fl only flew around 320 feet, but it still turned even though it's a 13 speed. I have a theory that getting faster discs to turn is much more about nose angle than arm speed. Let me know if you wanna see a full video on that. Well, that's me working on my standstills. Um, yeah, it's gonna take some more work, I guess, because I'm still not happy with them. But I guess that's disc golf form. We're never really happy. It's more just improving. So hopefully I'll be able to get it over 300 feet someday. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what other parts of my game you'd like to see me work on. If you like this format or if you'd rather just the more instructional style, that's cool too. I'm thinking about doing a similar style video to this on forehands and obviously a follow-up on standstills to see if I actually improve. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time.